Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna check for a coolant leak on this 2008 Chevy Silverado with a 4.3 liter V6 engine. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. So we did notice that this vehicle had some coolant leaks on the ground. We noticed it over in this area, a little bit here, where I have this catch pan. So we wanna figure out where that coolant's actually coming from. So before we do anything else, I'm gonna actually add some water to the coolant system because it's down a little bit. I'll just take the coolant cap off. Just take some water. You could use coolant, but um, we're gonna end up fixing whatever's leaking. So we wanna, we don't wanna waste coolant, so just use water. Top that off. And next I'm gonna use a coolant pressure tester. For this vehicle, you actually need a special adapter. Screw that on. We'll take our coolant pressure tester, screw this on to the adapter, lock it in place. Then we can pump pressure into the coolant system. Now you wanna check your radiator cap to see how much pressure. Now, this cap is rated for 15 PSI, so we really don't want to go above 15 or 16 PSI, which would be right in that yellow area. So this is putting pressure into the coolant system. And already I can hear coolant dripping, so I'm gonna stop right there at 13 PSI. I'm gonna take a look under here. Oh, it's actually leaking over here. And I can follow the drip. There's, if you look down there, it's actually spilling right out of the base of the radiator right there. No, it looks like the lower radiator hose area is where it's leaking. All right, I'm just gonna pump this up a little bit. So just with a little more than seven PSI in there, if I look at the base of the radiator, it's the coolant's coming out right here right where the hose goes into the radiator, the lower radiator hose. And see how this clamp is all rusted? I believe that clamp is what's causing this. At this point, before we decide to replace a radiator or a hose, what we're gonna do is take that clamp off and replace that clamp, because that clamp is old and rusty and we believe that the clamp is causing the coolant leak. Here's the other part of the clamp. This would go on like this. And that's what puts pressure on the coolant hose to secure it to the lower radiator. And it looks like this broke, because it's rusted right there. This broke before. You can see that broke off. And then it wasn't able to clamp the radiator good enough. So that's why we were getting a coolant leak. And then when I tried to compress this, this side broke, because you can see it's a little shinier right there. So we found our leak over at that lower radiator hose clamp area. Um, some other places you're gonna wanna check if your vehicle is not leaking from there. The water pump is located right here. Um, if you see any coolant in this area coming down from the front of the engine block, um, you're most likely you have a water pump leaking. You could also have intake gaskets leaking. I'll show you those when we drop the truck down, but you're gonna wanna check the lower radiator hose here, um, the upper radiator hose over there. And then if you see any coolant further in the block, it could be head gaskets. Um, anything on the back of the block could be the um, intake gaskets as well. So here's the water pump from the top side. So it could have coolant leaking from this side could have it from the back side of the water pump as well. If you see coolant behind that, it could be the intake. Coolant goes through the intake on this vehicle, so it crosses over from one head to the other. And also the thermostat is right there, so it could have coolant leaking from there. 
over here, the upper radiator hose, and then over here, you can check that. Check that clamp, see if that's rusty or loose, that could cause a leak. Also your heater hoses in the back. So if you see coolant near the firewall back there, that could be from the heater hoses. And also if you see coolant coming out of the firewall where the drain is, the drain is over here. If you look down, down there, if you see coolant coming from there, it's most likely a heater core. And if you see coolant on the inside of the car dripping into the passenger compartment, that's gonna be a heater core as well. So once you pressure test your system, that'll give you a better indication of what parts are actually bad and what parts you need to replace. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.